Welcome to episode 7 of the Island Survival Dev Diary. In this episode, I'll go over the changes made during day 7 of the game's development. In this build, I added keyboard shortcuts for all of the editor options. You can select a tile layer by pressing the number keys, or select an object by pressing the Z or X keys. If you have a tile selected, your first press of Z or X will refocus on the object tool, and the second will change the object. You can also change the brush size by using the left and right square bracket keys. The contouring system can be toggled with the C key, and the auto tiling with the V key. All of the shortcuts were just picked at random for now, but they'll be customizable in the future. These shortcuts make editing maps even easier. I spent most of my time on this build working on the map saving and loading system. You can press the Q key to save a map, and R to load one. The terrain, your position, and all of the objects in the world will be stored in the map file. Maps can also be saved and loaded from any directory you choose, making it easy to share maps between users. I did a lot of work on the inventory system as well. Items of the same type will now stack when placed in your inventory, and the number of each item you possess is displayed next to its name. There are also functions in place for removing objects from your inventory, such as when crafting or dropping an item, but those features aren't available yet. Items in the world that do not behave as containers of other items will now disappear from the world when searched. Additionally, you will never fail to collect these items when attempting to search. In the future, I will replace the search command with something more obvious such as pick up or take to differentiate the action. I will be working on the pre-order system for the game in my spare time over the next few days. When pre-orders are available, I'll start selecting a daily winner randomly from everyone who subscribes to my channel and comments on the video from the previous day. I'll announce the winner in the video for that day, so be sure to subscribe and comment if you're interested in the game. That's all for episode 7. Thanks for watching.